Hey everybody, welcome back to Sneed. Um, today videos are coming from a slightly different place. Uh, you guys had makeup link it testing on Friday, so I was not able to make videos there. So I'll be doing them from my house today so that you have them for this four day work week. Um, couple quick things, first of all, um, your grades from last week will be in my grade book very shortly, if they're not already there by the time that you watch this. Second, you have a quiz tomorrow on Tuesday over lessons one through four. Okay, go back through the videos, go back through your book. All of the guided practice problems are still there for you to try to practice. Um, so get make sure that you're ready for that quiz. Okay, it'll be 10 questions, I believe. And I just got rid of it. But, so it should be between 10 and 15 questions. You put your answer on the question sheet and you can do scratch work on an, your own page. Um, but that is tomorrow, so make sure that you're studying. Today we're talking about the difference between proportional and non-proportional relationships. And I am on your book on page 33. Okay. Page 33. Um, so, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to talk a little bit and I'm going to write on paper what you need to know. Okay? Alrighty. That wasn't what I wanted to do. So, proportional versus non-proportional. It's actually a really easy concept. If you find the unit rate for each data point and they are the same, then that is proportional. That means that whatever you do to your unit rate, you're going to get the other values in the data set or the data set, depending upon how you say the word. It is non-proportional if they, if different point values, so different data sets have different unit rates. Okay, so. I want you guys to look at page 34 in your book. And 34, that's basically what it says. All right. We're going to look at example one. And actually, I don't think you guys are going to be able to read that like that. Example one says that Andrew earns $18 per hour for mowing lawns. If the amount of money he earns is proportional to the number of hours he spends mowing, is it proportional? Explain. So the first thing we have to figure out is, is it proportional? Okay. And the way that we do that is by finding our unit rates. Okay. So we were given the original unit rate as $18 for one hour. So what I'm going to do now it says example one. I'm going to use the data point 54 and 3. Okay, so that's looking at $54 per three hours. If I take 54 and divide it by 3, then I should have 18. So let's check. 3 goes into 5 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract 5 minus 3 is 2. Bring down my 4. 3 goes into 24 8 times. So that would so that one checks. Okay? I know looking back at my data points that 2 times 18 is 36. So I know that one. Let's double check 72 and 4. Okay, so now we're looking at $72 over 4 hours. 72 divided by 4. 4 goes into 7 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. I subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3. Bring down my 2. <clears throat> 4 goes into 32 8 times. 8 times 4 is 32. I subtract and I get 0. 
Okay, so that also checks. So example one is proportional. Yay! Okay, so that's what we need to do. We need to determine if it's proportional by finding the unit rates. Okay, the next one that I want to look at Hold on just a sec, because I'm changing my plan here. Okay. I want us to look at example number two on page 35. It's at the top. It says that Uptown Tickets charges $7 per basketball game ticket plus a $3 processing fee per order. Not per ticket, like Ticketmaster does, per order. What is the cost of an order per, is the cost of an order proportional to the number of tickets ordered? And then explain. So when we get to the explain part, all you're going to be doing is saying yes it is proportional because and you would say that the unit rates are the same depending upon how many tickets you, you know, you buy or no it is not because and then you're going to tell me why based on um, what we calculate. So we see in our book that underneath the table it says cost per order over tickets ordered. We have 10 over 10 or 1, 17 over 2 is 8.5, 24 over 3 is 8, 31 over 4 is 775. So it says that no, they are not the same. They are not proportional. Okay, so it in this example it did that part for us. It told us that it's not proportional. Why is it not proportional? And that answer goes back to the fact that the processing fee is per order, not per ticket. So, the way that you can think about that one is, if you go and you buy something in bulk, it tends to be cheaper per item. Because there's less packaging, or because it's easier to ship, or whatever it is for that company. But it's cheaper to buy in bulk. Here, they're charging based on the num based on the number of times that somebody's credit card goes through the machine to buy tickets, not based on the cost, not based on each individual ticket. Okay, so that is why this one is not proportional. All right, you guys have some example problems to do. I need you to get into buckle down mode. And get as much done as you can. My plan for today was for your only homework to be to study. And I didn't assign a lot of problems. But I need those problems done. Capiche? Capiche. Alright. So go ahead and buckle down. Get those done so that you have something to look at tonight as you study. Okay. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Remember, it's a four-day week. We can get through this. And I will see you right back here via video tomorrow.